Hello, my pretties. It's still Monday. I just finished this look. I know it's out there, but I needed a little pick-me-up because unemployment is fucking with me. Um, but today, I got my stitch fix. Um, I honestly thought this, that this would come later since I just sent back maze um but this came on thursday the fourth they gave me until the sixth with this which is only two days to do this um but there was a little arrow so i could request more time so i now have until the 10th still not a lot of days but and i thought i would have my unemployment by now but I don't um, so just like in the last video I will show you everything I will um, give you the prices try them on but I'm unfortunately not keeping anything because finances are really rough right now um let's see I did put a note in my thing just because I again I thought this was, was gonna come a little later and I thought I would have money um, by then but my note said that um, I'm not going anywhere I'm not doing anything you know I'm not working so I want it lounge wear not tight yoga pants okay the thought of wearing something tight and restrictive on a 90 degree day does not sit well with me um so i just want it loose and loungy here is the bag to return all your items shipping is free either way My, the note from my stylist is in this little envelope along with the prices. No shoes in this box, which is a good one. Uh, here is my burrito. All right, my note says, Hi Gladys, happy fix day. I'm so glad you liked some of the pieces in your last fix and can't wait for you to dig in and try all of these new outfits today. I hope this fix brings you a few reasons to smile despite all of the unrest going on around us. Since you're still at home and looking for more lounge inspired options, I gathered a collection of looser fitting pieces that you can wear for comfort and style. I started with the navy linen pants from Liverpool, the lightweight and more flowy fit will be perfect for around the house. Pair them with the white market and spruce v-neck for a comfy fit with enough style to feel good taking a walk around the block too. Please let me know what you think about the cut and look of each piece so we can make sure we keep sending you new favorites. Stay well and keep smiling, Stephanie. Very lighthearted note. I don't mind that. All right. All right. First, we have the Market and Spruce. Tarza V-neck knit top in white. It's a large. Yes, indeed it is. It's most definitely large. This shirt is $44. Again, let me show you. Nothing thrilling about this top. I honestly think that this is going to be a little large and boxy 
just by the way it looks, but I will try this on. Hmm, pink. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I do not like pink. I know my lipstick is pink-ish today, but it's kind of that neutral pink. But anytime I say do not give me pink at all. But this next top, if it didn't have pink in it, it would be interesting. It's from Paper Moon. This is the Arlene Halter blouse. It says green. It's a large. I mean, I would say this is like a pea green. And you have burgundies and peaches and pinks. Again, if it wasn't for the pink, this would be be an option. It looks very sheer. So. And this <clears throat> retails for $38. What is this? Okay. Another top. From Lila Jade it is the Ralphie Cole Neck Knit Top in Taupe. It's a large. This looks quite ugly. It's just not my cup of tea. definitely loungy but an ugly kind of loungy okay this is $64 I don't know who's gonna pay $64 for that but okay my next item is from Liverpool these are the Dave Street Leg Capri Linen Pant in Navy and it's a size 14. These look really comfy and it has a little cloth belt to it. It says it's stretchy. These look really comfortable. Really. I'm a fan of of a capri pant um, my husband hates them just because he says I look shorter but they are so comfortable and these look comfortable as well and looks like they're really really loose These are $88. And then I have a pair of jeans from Cut from the Cloth. These are the I don't know. Let me go to my list. The Kate Boyfriend Distressed jeans in indigo size 14 these are also $88 so let's it's got a little bit of distressing right there right there um, the cuff down here is rolled up again I don't mind that if you don't like that you can also you can always roll them back down. So, since we already know every piece is going to go back because um, unemployment and state of New Jersey hates me, I'm going to go through the prices now. Uh, 
my subtotal is $322. If I was in a better financial state and decided to keep all five pieces, that would be an additional 25% off, which would be 80.50. Bring my order total. Uh, normally there is a styling fee of $20 that is a credit. Um, I have the style pass, so I don't have that. Uh, so my order total is $241.50. Definitely um, could not afford that. Last month's total was actually better. Um, so, yeah. All right, let me uh, rearrange some things and get to trying these items on for you. All right, here is the, f well, I'm going backwards. Um, here is the first outfit which is the last one. This is that cow neck top, which I hate even more. It just makes me look like a blob. It does nothing for a figure. Nothing. Um, I'm also wearing the jeans. The jeans are always comfortable um, I like the distressing the rolled up these are my toms FYI um, I guess if you were like walking on the beach and it was you know these would be perfectly Fine, or running an errand or two. These are fine. I hate this shirt so much. So much. It is soft, but this. Ugh. And, and it just does nothing. Okay, next shirt. Oh, forgot to mention. The sleeve is a bit tight. I kind of feel like it's giving me sausage vibes in the arm, you know, but it was kind of, it's kind of tight to like pull on. And I don't think my forearms are huge or anything. I do have a fatter upper arm, but that's just me and my size. Um, but it was a little tight getting it up my forearm. Okay, here's the next top, which, ugh, again, is really pretty. If it wasn't pink. This is very comfortable. It pulls away from the stomach, so it's not, like, tight. And it's loose everywhere. This would be a really cute outfit. Say you were, like you can't really go out, go out. But say you were going to go to the ice cream place, which is like outside, so it's open. Um, <clears throat> or you were walking around like the farmer's mart. You know, a little impromptu day date with someone this would be really cute it's not heavy it's not as see-through as I originally thought the armholes aren't bad like if they were beyond my bra strap I would have an issue but it's not this is really cute besides the pink but for those who like pink this would work so 
All right, let me go try the last outfit. Here is the last outfit. The shirt is really comfy. It is a heavier knit, especially for summertime. But with the like no sleeve, well cap sleeve, you still have breathability. Um, there's nothing quite unique about this. And I, it does make me look boxy like I thought it would. I have it kind of like... Like, that is a little bit better. You just tuck in the front. Because you have this cute little belt with these linen pants. Linen pants are so comfy. So comfy um, and they do have stretch in them I can feel it like I pull and it goes back um, with normal linen, linen pants they do wrinkle easily they do stretch even more as the day goes on so it gets looser so like for me I would hope the bottom gets a little looser just because I've got like this material here that, you know, is kind of clinging, clinging to my skin. And I got this weird fabric left in the knees. But these are really comfy. Again, you could, you know, you could go for a walk with this. Um, just make sure that you uh, have good deodorant on because white is a really difficult color. You know, if you're with kids, forget it. If you sweat a lot, forget it. You're going to get those pit stains. Um, but it's really comfy. Yeah, if you had to just lounge at home or just do anything, this would be a just fine and dandy outfit. Makes you look a little put together with, without feeling bummy. But it is a very bummy outfit. Okay, let me get back into my loungewear and I will be back. Hi, I'm back. All right. So what did you guys think? Stephanie definitely did deliver on loungy comfort wear. Um, but my official opinion, even though I am not keeping anything this shirt was cute. I would prefer maybe in a black or a navy just because trying to keep this nice and clean would be difficult. Um, do I think that it is worth the $44 price tag. No. I think you can pick up something like this from Old Navy for a way cheaper price. Um, you can go with a regular t-shirt. You could go with a tank top. It's not quite worth it for me. These pants from Liverpool, which were $88. So very comfy. sad that I have to give these back because these are comfortable. Um, I would have liked a little bit more give in like the 
the low thigh, through the knee, through the calf. But that's just me. I, you know, I went loose all the way around. Um, these were $88. Do I think that they are worth the $88 price tag? Um, I'm going to give it to them. Because it did feel nice. They felt comfortable. They didn't feel thin. They just were like the perfect weight for a linen pant. These cut from the cloth Kate boyfriend jeans. Again, I love their jeans. They are again so comfortable um and their price tag $88 yes they're worth it I I uh I have multiple pairs of pants from Stitch Fix jeans cut from the cloth and they're all just so comfortable I don't know how they get it right but they do and it's just amazing. Um, I haven't gotten pants from them in a while just because they keep giving me the same thing over and over again. And I don't need 5,000 pairs of jeans. Especially when I'm not wearing jeans right now. Next we have the Paper Moon Top. Super cute. Anyone could feel super cute and put together and still comfortable in this. I would if it didn't have so much pink. Um, but yeah, this is good for you know, if you wanted to feel special. If you wanted to give yourself that little extra oomph. That, you some, that we sometimes need as parents, as mothers, as wives. You know, everything gets kind of thrown. We get thrown to the side and in, 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 in how we want to be, how we want to feel because we have to take care of everyone else. This allows you to feel a little special. It definitely made me feel special. And like just cute. Like, yeah. This took minimal effort and, and I look so cute. Yes. This one was $38. Nothing can replace the the feeling that you have with feel with feeling good about yourself. So for me, $38 for this top is worth it. Um, do I think you could find something like this somewhere else? Yes. Um, do I think it's going to be the same quality? And I don't know. And could you find one for cheaper? Maybe. But this is so and the last shirt the Layla Jade cow neck knit top which was so the name $64 this shit is not worth $64 this made me look like a box and not a good box, like an ugly box. And even if I had the money to buy all the items, this shirt was $64. This would be essentially free, but I still wouldn't wear it. This would sit in my closet until the end of time. 
because I don't like it whatsoever. Ever, ever. And the arms were a little, you know, tight down here. <clears throat> so no, it's not worth that sixty-four dollars. That is everything. What did you guys think? What do you think about my opinions on things? Um, again, someone else could have different opinions on all of those things. Someone might think that last stop was just spectacular. But for me, no. Alright, that is it for today. Have a good day. Um... According to my, uh, tracker, my Ipsy Ultimate should be in on Wednesday. Hopefully, it's right, and I get to play with something else. Alright, have a good day.